afternoon. This is Pastor Branson. I hope you've had a good week so far. I want to try to give you a little bit of encouragement here this afternoon. I want to read you a verse from uh, Matthew chapter 14, verse 3. It says, But when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid, and he began to sink. He cried out to the Lord, Save me. Have you ever been in a situation where you thought that you were sinking in life? Now, I'm not talking about being out in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm talking about just sinking amongst all the situations and circumstances that uh, come with life. Sometimes we're, we're sinking in finance, finance. Sometimes we're sinking in our marriages or sinking in our personal relationships, dating life or whatever it might be. Uh, we all have those times when we just feel like we're just sinking, that uh, the world's just uh, you know caving in on us and fighting hell by the inch and it's just too much to handle. Well, you know what? Peter was sinking and he said, Lord, help me. So you know what? We need to tell the Lord, hey, Lord, help me. And I want to give you five things real quickly that can help keep you afloat when you feel like you're sinking. First of all, we need to have courage with Jesus. And we need to always understand that Jesus is always, always with us. And we need to tell fear when it comes into our life. We need to say fear needs to take a hike. Fear is a liar. Why? because it's brought by the liar himself. Remember, Satan's MO is that he's a liar. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So one of the biggest things he does sometimes is he makes us very, very fearful of things that are going on around our life, things that we're, we're going through. But in those times, we need to have courage in Jesus and know that he is with us no matter what. Number two, we need to always take risk when it comes to faith, and faith is always a risk. Faith is a substance of things that we do not see. It's like going out and getting on an airplane and flying from here to Atlanta. Any of us know the pilot? Probably not. Have any of us ever flown in that airplane? No. Have any of us sat in that seat before? No. We don't know anything about that airplane mechanically, but we set ourselves in that seat by faith, knowing that that airplane is going to take us from Tampa all the way to Atlanta. That's the same faith that we need to have in the good Lord. If he's calling us to get out of the boat in our life, to do something uh, that he's called us to do, we need to trust him. We need to step out and we need to do what God has called us to do. We miss so many blessings sometimes because we stay in the boat and we don't have the faith to step out. Number three, we need to stay focused on Jesus, not on our circumstances. The longer we put our focus on our circumstances, the more we'll drown. We'll feel like we're drowning. We'll feel like we're overwhelmed. We don't need to put our, our, our focus on our circumstances. We need to put our focus on the one that can pull us out of the circumstances in life, and his name is Jesus. Number four, we need not to ever, ever doubt. We don't need to doubt. Jesus is one that always, always will keep his word. You can't find one time in your life where Jesus has reneged on any of his promises, where he has said, hey, I'm not going to do this for you or that for you. He said, I'm going to supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. I will never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Those are promises, rock solid promises amongst all the other promises in the Bible. You can always believe what he says is true. You don't ever need to doubt. And number five, no matter what you're going through in life, you need to learn to praise God. Praise him in the valleys as much as you praise him on the mountaintops. It's easy to praise God when things are going well, but it's very, very hard to praise God when things are not going very well. And if you can praise God in the valleys, you'll know good and well that you are one that is in love with Jesus the way he wants you to be in love with him. Praise him in the good days, praise him in the bad days, all the glory and praise goes to him. You be encouraged. I look forward to seeing you Sunday morning at 930.